article kind of interesting. Uh, Mike Reese, he is a Hollywood writer. He's one of the more well-known writers and producers of the show The Simpsons. Well, last year, Reese took a trip on the Ocean Gate Expedition's Titanic submersible to see the historic Titanic wreckage. Well, Reese talked about the voyage with the New York Post, saying death is always lurking. It's always in the back of your mind before you even get on the boat. There's a long, long waiver that mentions death three times on one page. He received no special training before getting into the Titan, aside from how to get into a survival suit. He went on to say that the seating is cramped in there. He described it as if you took a minivan and took all the seats out. That's the amount of space you have. He says you sink, first falling for two hours and 30 minutes. He says it was so peaceful that he actually fell asleep during it. Once they hit the bottom, he says we spent about 90 minutes just trying to hunt around, trying to find the Titanic, but it was just so dark down there. By the time the submersible stumbled on the wreckage site. They had only 20 minutes to gaze at the tragic liner through a porthole that was about as large as a washing machine door. His thoughts? Wow, just looks like it does in the pictures. Now, Reese said he didn't feel unsafe during the deep dive, but he said he would not take the risk again. So, sounds a lot like the rides out of a carnival or an amusement park, right? You climb on board and you kind of wonder in the back of your mind if this will be the time where it'll break. So, there you go. First hand account of a trip on on that Titanic sub. Yeah, what did they say the price tag for a ticket to ride down there on it was? Something like 200 grand, wasn't it? Yeah, not that I would ever have that kind of money, but if I did, personally, wouldn't you rather spend it on something that is going to be fun and lighthearted? You know, I, I do get the curiosity of the history behind it, though. My family, we toured uh, that Titanic museum over in Branson a few years back. And while it was interesting, the history of it, it's not something that makes you feel happy or good. After we got done with the tour, I was so bummed out for the rest of the day. We had plans afterwards to go across the street and ride go-karts. I was like, no, I got to go back to the hotel and have a good cry after that. So just not what I consider a fun vacation. But I feel like some things just need to be left alone. And the Titanic wreckage is one of those. Like Maybe this is a big sign here that it should be left alone and in peace now. Stay right there. El King, Post Malone, and Taylor Swift after our break. You're listening to KISS 104.7. The Fox Theater in Hayes presents Weedstock Music Festival, July 13th and 14th, featuring William Clark Green. She likes the Beatles, and I like the Stones. She likes romantic movies, I like Indiana Jones. And Ricochet. She's got her daddy's money, her mama's good looks, and look who's looking at me. And many, many more artists. Weedstock Music Festival, two great days of music, July 13th and 14th. Get your tickets now at Finn Bright, Hayes. Hayes. Party Monday this afternoon, the high 90. Tonight, more clouds getting down to 69. Weather this hour is being brought to you by Herman Physical Therapy. Tired of muscle and joint pain? Let Troy and his staff help you on your journey to pain-free living. Herman Physical Therapy. Inside the Centennial Mall in Hayes. With My Town Media Weather, I'm Chris Elson. What's up? What 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 up